Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Mike Reviews at All. Uh, jurors have deliberated and they have found um, Jose Garcia Zarate not guilty on all charges including murder, manslaughter, and assault with a firearm. He was convicted of being a felon in possession of a firearm. So the story goes that this man was sitting with a gun in a coat where it couldn't be seen uh, and he was spinning on a chair for over 25 minutes and then somehow accidentally uh, shoots this lady ran from the scene threw the gun into the river um, the man's been sent back five times now he's been deported five times um, that's not the main story here but I feel it is for San Francisco jurors um, how 12 jurors uh, could come to the conclusion that this man's not guilty of anything when he shot a gun off in public shows us just how divided this country is um, I believe those jurors in San Francisco were uh, very left-leaning ultra liberals um, and I'm not I'm not uh, defending right-leaning ultra conservatives but I'm gonna tell you if this had happened in Texas this would have been exactly the opposite conviction and maybe that's the problem here um, I believe San Francisco these guys wanted to set a statement if this had been the other way if this had been if this young lady uh, had killed the illegal immigrant I believe there would have been rioting I believe there would have been a bunch of uh, white mentally ill SJWs in the street tearing it apart um, and she would have been found guilty uh, if not of first-degree murder of second-degree murder and manslaughter and if she was not they would have torn the town apart how you cannot find this man guilty of even manslaughter is such a disservice to her parents and to this country um, I don't these jurors are like they don't live in the same country that most of us live in No, I want to say that most of us don't live in Hopefully in an uber conservative uber liberal either because I'm tired of this team tribe mentality um, You got the super far right cult and you got the super far left cult and if if this had happened in Texas and it had been the other way around and she would have shot an illegal immigrant she probably would have gotten off and there wouldn't have you know nobody would have said a word um, and then if the illegal immigrant shoots her in Texas um, he gets convicted of first-degree manslaughter uh, almost undoubtedly how are we living in two such different countries? Um, it's amazing. So the, this is articles from the New York Post. This just happened to be one of the articles that I looked at. But if you go to the, um, the New York Post, the Washington Street Journal, um, Fox News, uh, you're gonna you see headlines where it says illegal immigrant at center of sanctuary city debate found not guilty in San Francisco Pier shooting. If you go to CNN, uh, Yahoo, Huffington Post, more left-leaning, you will see undocumented. I, I, I believe one of them said undocumented citizen, which I don't know what an undocumented citizen is. You can have illegal immigrants, and you can have undocumented immigrants, and you can have legal citizens. But I don't think you can have undocumented citizens. So um, I I don't understand how that works there. But what I do understand is we're living in two completely different countries. 
um, the United States as we know it is, I don't know if we'll ever go back to where we were, but this just shows how divided we are. That I believe these 12 jurors felt the need to put a political statement forward to the rest of the country, knowing that this man was illegal. They were going to take this case and put it out there and make sure that this man was found not guilty as a political statement against immigration policies of Donald Trump um, and, and of sanctuary cities. Either you have legal immigration or you don't. And both parties have tiptoed around this for a long time. They should have made it easier for legal immigrants who want to work. This man was not looking for work. Who want to work to come over here a long time ago. But neither side wants to solve this problem. Uh, I can tell you that because there's never any legislation even put out on legal immigration that makes any sense. Uh, it's so hard for people that actually do want to work to actually get over here and become a citizen and you're rewarded for skipping over a, you know, a border that's not always so well guarded. Obviously, this guy got over it six times, so it's not too hard. Um, I hate to say it like this. Um, I'm not trying to invoke Trump in any means here, but if we are a nation of laws, we have to enforce the laws that we have. If you don't like a law, like a, you can't have sanctuary cities because where does it come next? What law are you going to av avoid next? So next is San Francisco and Seattle. They don't agree with the death penalty. San Francisco doesn't agree with the death penalty, so anybody from the United States um, can go there and they'll keep them in a sanctuary so, they, so they're not executed. Maybe, all, maybe they don't believe in prison. So they're just going to, as long as they're in this city, uh, you can't put them in prison. Where's the end of this going to be? No, you can't just break laws. Um, either you have laws or you don't. This is why we have a Congress. This is why we have a Senate. This is why we have bills. If you want to see it easier for people to come over here legally, you put together a bill, a bipartisan bill that makes sense, that rewards people for coming over here, that want to work and are contributing to make our country, which is a country of immigrants, a better place to live in, which is these people are doing all the time and plenty of them are undocumented or illegal whichever one you want to call it a lot of them are victims of horrible circumstances had no control over where they were born and are have to deal with the just pages and pages and pages of bureaucracy and no it's no wonder they walk over the fence because we can't get our shit together. But you can't go letting murderers off the hook because you don't want to follow the law. Because you hate the president and you want to send a statement to the president so you're going to let murderers off and make the life of Kate here worthless. You know, you just told her parents, we didn't value her life. How? How does a person on this pier shoot someone and kill them and not get even manslaughter? Not first degree, not second degree, not manslaughter. Nothing. Not even, a, not even assault with a firearm. Not fleeing a criminal act. Only convicted of being a felon in possession of a firearm. That was it. How can you find 12 people that hate justice that much? Apparently in fucking San Francisco. So people that don't want to obey the law, I hate this. Well, get out. You know what, though? You're not part of the United States. You're part of the divided states. 
And I'm going to say this the same thing to the people on the other side that are hateful towards people because of their race, because of their religion, people that, you know, are xenophobic, whatever you want to call it, both sides. I'm going to call it out on both sides. If we're going to be the United States of America, we need to unite and we need to use some damn common sense. I believe most people that don't have, you know, a mental disability or some kind of psychosis, um, basically know the difference between right and wrong. And we know what the difference between right and wrong is here, in my opinion. Um, if you think differently, tell me down in the comments. Um, let me know what you think here. And uh, give, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, I'm a little upset about this verdict, as you can tell. But uh, I hope you guys have a great week. And hopefully we have some good news to report soon. Thanks for tuning in.